Hello everyone, this is Dawn, and uh, believe it or not, today I'm uh, standing in my kitchen, uh, which is only about five feet away from where I normally record these videos, but um, today, believe it or not, we're going to talk about pretzels. And uh, I thought this uh, might be something if you're stuck at home, which many people are, and you have kids, this might be a fun activity. Uh, if not, um, you could just get a bag of pretzels and talk about the same thing. <laughs> uh, pretzels for a long time have been a traditional Lenten snack because they're very plain. And early Christians, um, when they would pray, they would cross their arms and touch each shoulder. So if you do that and then look down, you, it's sort of a pretzel shape. So folklore, because nobody really knows for sure. Um, a monk maybe in like the seventh century maybe was had some leftover bread and at that time um, because Christians were they would have very strict fasts so there was no dairy and uh, no meat and uh, no probably no yeast even so anyhow this monk had some leftover dough left and he decided that he would form um, this dough into what it looks like uh, as a child with their arms crossed, which is the pretzel shape. So there you have it. And then further lore, which is probably not true, that he would um, reward children for learning their prayers by giving them a pretzel to remind them. And so for us in these last few days of Lent, it's uh, a check back in to remind us that Lent is a time for prayer. And um, and so today is pretzel. So, you can start with um, by making the dough. I'll include a link for traditional pretzel dough or a recipe, but really you could start with whatever you'd like. If you have a dough recipe you make, great. If you have frozen pizza dough in your freezer maybe, defrost that and you could use that. Um, I have some dough here. I actually made it yesterday and saved half of it um, to use for today. I used half for my dinner last night. Um, and so, so you have your dough and it's risen and then you're going to divide it into portions depending on how big uh, you, you would like your pretzels. Let me tell you, I feel like a complete fraud. Uh, I like to watch cooking shows, but I'm not a very good cook, so we'll just go with it. So, so um, I have some dough here and you're going to form it into a rope. Um, I, I have some flour on my board here. Never did I think I would ever be cooking in my kitchen on a video, but you know, I feel like Food Network should come here and film, but they wouldn't fit in here. So, uh, so you want to uh, make it into some sort of rope. This might be a trial and error for everybody. Maybe you make two batches. Uh, and then once you have the rope long enough for your desire, you'll form it into a pretzel shape. So just remember thinking about your arms crossed, each hand touching the, a shoulder. Mine is very small now. This resembles nothing of like you would get in the mall. <laughs> uh, so once you have it, um, some recipes, including the one that I'll reference, it uh, has, has you drop it into um, a mixture of hot water and baking soda. If I were up on things, I could tell you why this works. I don't know, but you you essentially dunk it in there and then place it on that grease baking sheet. Um, and you can sprinkle salt on top if you'd like or not, depending on your style. And so then you can complete it with the rest of your dough and hopefully by the magic of um, the internet, the next thing you'll see will be a completed pretzel. If not, well, we'll know. Okay, and so after a period of baking, which ended up being like 12 minutes for me, I don't know what it'll be for you. Um, I have something that resembles pretzels, but if you didn't, if I didn't know they were pretzels, I'm not sure I could uh, come up with it. But the idea is there. They have crossed arms <laughs> and more importantly they taste really good and so that's really what uh, makes it important <laughs> so anyhow all of this it uh, the 
uh, procedure might have been a fun activity to do, but it did cause me to think about this Lent, how have I been praying? And that as opposed to different Lents that we've had, I've prayed in different ways. Um, and I think putting our hands to use and um, making something, that can be a prayer too. And so if you have some time this weekend and are up for it, I'd say give it a try. Got nothing to lose. And uh, that's it for now.